Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm here at Montclair State University in the Exercise Science Lab to show you how to use a hemocube machine to get a hemoglobin measurement on somebody, which is the molecule that floats around the blood in the red blood cells and carries oxygen. All right, so when you are working with a biohazard like blood, you need to make sure that you are protecting yourself from that biohazard. So you need to be wearing shoes that are closed so that there is no exposure of your feet. You need to be wearing pants that uh, prevent any exposure of your legs. You should be wearing some sort of lab coat that protects most of the rest of your body. Then you need to be wearing gloves that protect you from anything that's gonna get spilled on your hands. And you need to be wearing some sort of um, protective eyewear that's going to have some side shields as well as a, a lot of coverage to your eyes to prevent any splashes from getting to your eyes. So when doing a hemoglobin measurement using the HemoQ device, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have uh, an adequate blood sample. So that means either having a purple top EDTA tube with blood in it um, that is going to prevent it from coagulating. You can also have a syringe that just has blood that's been untreated in it, but then you're going to have to do that right away. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Um, you could also do a finger stick, so using a, a lancet. However, there might be a little hemolysis, which might mess with uh, some measurements if you're doing a finger stick because of the, uh, the size of the hole that you're making in the finger. Uh, is very small and you're essentially puncturing capillaries so that may cause some issues. The other methods are going to require some sort of venipuncture, so either an IV or a regular blood draw, um, but they're going to give you uh, reliable results. Turning on the HemaQ is just a matter of plugging it in and pushing the power button. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull out the little black part of the machine at the bottom end of the machine. So you just kind of pull it out towards yourself and it's going to slide out at an angle. So once you have the blood sample you need, you, if it's going to be from a syringe, you can use the syringe to apply the blood to a micro cuvette that's meant for the HemaQ device. Or if you have it in a tube, you can use a transfer pipette, which is just the little bulb top pipettes to take a little bit of blood out and then to apply that to the HemaQ cuvette. Either way, if you look at the cuvette, there's a little point on the one side of the cuvette. Um, that is where you want to load the blood. All right? So if you load the blood from that little point, um, so if you think of it like a triangle type top, if you load it from that tip of the triangle, it should uh, allow blood to flow into the cuvette using capillary action that's going to prevent you from getting air bubbles inside the micro cuvette, which is something that's going to um, artificially lower the uh, hemoglobin measurement that you would get. And then you're going to see a little tiny um, part of that black section of the machine that has the same shape as the HemaQ cuvette. And so that's where you're going to place the cuvette. So if you don't get it into that little slot um, appropriately, obviously you're not going to be able to close the machine, so you know you didn't do it right. So just move, or, move it around a little bit until you get it to fit into the black part of the machine appropriately, and then it should close easily. And then it's just a matter of waiting, usually about 10 to 15 seconds, for the hemoglobin measurement to pop up on the screen. So the HemaQ is a really quick and easy to use device and it's very good at what it does. However, there is a little bit of error, so it's recommended that you do each sample in at least duplicate to make sure that they're about the same as each other. And if there's issues, you can do additional samples. Um, triplicates even better. Um, but once you have a reading and all the readings you want, just open the device, throw the cuvettes into a um, sharps container that's meant for biohazards, close the device, and then just power it off by holding down the power button. And that's how to do a hemoglobin measurement using the HemaQ. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video.